Hey guys, welcome on my trip. Today I want to show you the top 5 projects I discovered during my time in Canada. So stay tuned. On rank number 5, the Innovation Grant of the Salvation Army. Over 3 years, these guys put 9 million Canadian dollars into different projects to push the innovation in the Army. Just in the first year, they had new projects, like 42 projects, and some of them are so different, like being a church for gamer community, building a community garden to go forward with the community around the church, or the outdoor church, worshipping God outside in nature, going hiking together and worshipping Him on the top of the mountains. Rank number four. One of the projects the Salvation Army supported with the Innovation Grant is the bike project in the Salvation Army in Victoria on Vancouver Island. They bought a lot of bikes for adults and for kids and now people from the city can just pass by, borrow a bike and go for a family trip for a day or just taking a bike for meeting some friends. It's a possibility to help people to stay connected with others and also to be outside, being active and not stay the whole time inside. Rank number three, the Cascade Church. It's the place I've been in church like for one month and they're doing some amazing stuff like Massey Church. It's a kind of church but it's different, like it's creative, like children and adults, everybody come together and they're doing some creative stuff. For example, we had the story about the lost sheep and we built it a shelter for sheep. So this kind of stuff. Then they have also something what is called just show up. So they just open up the halls and the rooms at Saturday's morning for the people from the community around and they just welcome them with, with breakfast and with different kind of activities. The Sunday I've been there, we played pickleball, a sport between tennis and ping pong, just like a small kind of tennis and it makes a lot of fun. Another approach of the Cascade Church is the gather shop. People can come in and get some food for a really good price. And the special thing is, if you come in, you feel welcome because everything is made so beautiful and in a nice way that you just say, oh, that's so a good place to be. On rank number two, Centre of Hope. A place of the Salvation Army with a thrift store, a drop-in for homeless people and different flats for people who want to get out of the addiction and go through a 12-step program. I live together with some of the guys in the 12-step program and I appreciate a lot the community with them. I had also the chance to help out in the shelter and I was impressed with how much love the employees served the homeless people. On rank number one, EDS. For one month I had the chance to be a part of the EDS team. It was an honor for me to learn from Ian and John. They told me so many stories about the flood, about the wildfires, and I had just had the chance to ask so many questions. And it was a, a great time. I also had the chance to go to an earthquake conference, to visit different EDS locations in whole BC, or to work through different courses to learn more about EDS. I am so thankful for this opportunity and for all the things I learned during this month. If you want to know more about all these projects, you can find some information in the show notes. If you're interested to follow me and just discover new Salvation Army projects around the world, subscribe. And if you have any ideas about cool Salvation Army projects, just leave me a comment. I'm so happy to have you on my trip. Be blessed.